Music Access. It's been exactly 10 days since June started and since we revamped Music Access. Comparing the new version of the program to what we had before, all of our corners are new and we have some new guests, but if you think about it, the corners have just shifted days or, you know, we had an additional guest joining into what was already there. So we'll all do our best to make this program even better than it was before. There's a Korean saying that goes like, 급하게 먹는 밥이 취한다, which translates into, food eaten too quickly gives you an upset stomach. That means, if you do something in a hurry, it can lead to problems. So, while I'm hosting Music Access, I promise not to rush through things and get things done right Benji style. I also promise to do my best to communicate with you guys and keep things real. Yeah, this isn't just my promise, but it's also our Music Access staff members' promises as well. So, make a promise with me. You guys all promise to be with me and keep on listening to Music Access, alright? The first song you heard today, Wednesday, June 10th, 2015, was Bailando by Enrique Iglesias. What's up, Music Access? <gasps> Bros and sisters. It's been 10 days since we've been around. We had our corner with Karen twice now. And our corner with Sam twice as well. So, those corners are steady getting locked into place. Today, we will have Jane and Tasha in the studio. In the DJ booth. Talking about the difference between men and women. And then, you know. As our week continues on, we'll have other fabulous corners. But, I mean, I think we're getting used to it, you know. At first, it might have been a little bit awkward. But, now it's not awkward at all. And it's so smooth. It's like baby oil on a hippo. Yep. Anyway, so, let me tell you what's up for today. In our first hour, we have our daily corner that allows you guys to travel in time. Time Traveler's Mailbox and All About Music Quiz Season 2. Bingy Style in store. And in the second hour, we're going to talk about what's different between men and women, or what's similar between men and women on Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Jane and Tasha will again be with me for that in just a bit. So, aren't you curious how you can talk to me and participate on this corner and this radio program of music access? Well, I'll tell you how. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphone, and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess, and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeong. And remember guys, if you have any songs you want to hear today, or maybe a song you want to let someone hear as a gift, send those requests onto our message board under the subject title, Request. Alright, we'll come right back after a song. The song is Mitchell's The Time When I Break Free by Ariana Grande featuring Zed. <gasps> you just heard Break Free by Ariana Grande featuring Zed. Not Ariana Venti, guys. Ariana Grande. Yes, that's a joke that I made with my friends and I got slapped for that. Anyway, so... Actually, what I want to do for it right now is normally message time, but as it has been 10 days and there are people who maybe are just tuning in now, I want to do a quick recap of all our corners real quick. So, just to go over our new corners and revamped music access, on Mondays we have All That K. Uh, what we do is we talk about entertainment news, favorite scenes and lines from K-dramas, and lyrics from K-pop songs, all with Karen. So make sure to take a look at our message board carefully and send in all your questions, comments, and all that stuff for All That K by writing All That K on your title and leaving us a message. For our Tuesday corner, Men and Music, me and Sam battle it out to find the perfect song to match a situation. And that's a situation that you guys can send in as well. And not only do we just match the situation or topic, you guys know that we have to act out the situation, you know? 
me and Sam, not only are we very music oriented, but I feel like as a result of this corner, we're becoming extremely, extremely adept at acting as well. So, if you have any situations that you would like to recommend we find songs to and act out, just write Men and Music or Eminem on your title and post it up on our message board. For our Wednesday corner, which is also today, we have Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, with the lovely Jane. I don't know if she's lovely or not, though. I'm just kidding. And we have Tasha joining us, and uh, we're talking about uh, how you feel men and women are different. So, for example, tell us how you feel men and women are different, you know, when we eat, when we drive, when we shop, when we work out, you know, when we're at the park, anything. Just write Mars Venus on your title and post a message on the message board. For our Thursday corner, we've got Obla D Obla Da. So when you feel life goes on, tell us about your thoughts and how you felt at the time. You know, any life stories, whether they're funny, sad, inspiring, dramatic, anything at all. Just write Obla D on your title and we'll chat about it with Kihoon. For Friday, we have our game day, woo, where we have Jay from BTL and Crazino. And that's where we play games and relieve all the stress of the week. So, you guys know how it is. Just tune in and we'll have fun there. And then for our weekend corners, as always, communicating with me and you. We've got our Saturday corner, my text and message, which is all about sharing the SNS or text message that was the most memorable to you from the week gone by. It can be a message that made you happy, angry, or something that made you LOL, or a message that made you go OMG. So, you know, let us know what kind of messages are most memorable and messages that uh, you keep saved in your mobile device. Let us know. Anything really uh, interesting about that? If you want to write on for this corner, just write my text on your message and post it up. And, of course, we have our Sunday corner, Scribble Scribble, which is, yeah, it's, it's that, you know. It's for you guys to think freely and just doodle out your thoughts. And it's a chance for, you know, you to be honest and think about what was hard, what was embarrassing, what was a proud moment, anything. You know, Scribble Scribble is really the corner where you guys should be able to write in comfortably about anything, everything, no matter how long, how short, without any pressure whatsoever. So, if you want to write in for that, go ahead and share with me by writing Scribble on your title. That's right, we've got so many super cool, fun corners, so stick around for music access, and always, don't forget to write in. Alright, now let's check out a song before we come back with Time Traveler's Mailbox. The song is Animals, Animals, Moles by Maroon 5. Time Traveler's Mailbox. Our special daily corner, Time Traveler's Mailbox, will let all of you bring back special memories by revisiting your past. First, write down the date you want to time travel to, then let us know why you chose that date and where you'll be, what you'll be doing, and who you'll be with when you travel in time. If you want to participate, just write time travel on your title and leave your message on our message board. We have a lot of fun in this corner because uh, it's about going back into memories and it's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. And remember, guys, you don't have to be specific about your date. You could be, you know, a few weeks ago or a few years ago or, you know, when I was a college student. Anything like that. So uh, feel free to write in. And our first time traveler is Shella from Indonesia saying, Dear Benji, I want to travel back to February 17th, 2015. Well, it's not so long ago. But if I can turn back the time and travel back to that time, I really want to go back. At the time, I met two people from a Korean music label and accompanied them all day long in my country and visited some media in order to arrange Indonesian promotions for their artist. Maybe because I was too nervous, I did some silly mistakes at the time, such as I got us lost in a shopping mall while we were looking for lunch. Seems like my brain can't work properly and I forgot where the food court is. Because of that, I want to go back to February 17th with Double J, my nickname for them because I don't want to reveal their real name, and I'll do things better than I did last time. With love, Shella from Indonesia. Shella from Indonesia. 
if you say double J, I feel like I know who that is. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. But besides that, you know, silly mistakes, going back to the mall, it's super, super fun. Looking back from my past, when I went to the mall, because uh, for those of you who don't have a mall, because in Korea, they don't have the same concept of like a huge shopping mall as much. It's, uh, they do have a mall, but it's more like, um, they call it pekwajam or department stores, which are very big buildings and stuff like that. But, uh, when I was in, uh, Seattle, going to the mall was just, like, things you do when you have nothing to do. <laughs> it's like, you call your friend up, it's like, hey, what are you doing? Uh, not much. What? What's up? I'm bored. Oh, me too. What do you want to do? <sighs> Let's go to the mall. And then you walk around, you know, check stores out, because they have electronic stores and all that stuff. But it's actually really easy to get lost in the mall especially if you have like if you're with someone from out of the city and you need to find stores for them or something or you need to introduce them and so you know it's totally understandable i mean um i think it's it's very it brings back a lot of memories for me in that sense because thinking back to my mall days one of the places i love the most was the food court because you could taste so many countries food when you're going to the food court you know in one place you have a collection of you know Chinese food, American food, you know, Japanese food, American food, Italian, all this different styles, and it's really an amazing place. Guys, if you have a mall, go to your local mall today and enjoy the food there, because you need to enjoy the food when you can. Alright, so now, let's listen to a song before we come back with another message for Time Traveler's Mailbox. The song is... Don't love you no more by Craig David, requested by Thailand's Kidding Head. Turn it around. This song is so good. I had to do this song uh, as a trainee for practice. Anyway, so we just listened to Don't Love You No More by Craig David. And now let's meet our second time traveler for Time Traveler's Mailbox. And it is Amelina R. from Singapore saying. Dear Benji, I wish I could travel back to the days I was in primary and secondary school. I was an introvert, but I really, really, really enjoy people around me. No matter how loud, quiet, or weird they are, I like being around people. If I could travel back, I could have been more open and be involved with all of my awesome classmates and probably have a much more meaningful and more memorable old school time. But I'm happy because now I'm in polytechnic school and I'm being me and I feel awesome and grateful for this chance to be who I am. That's great. When I was, I, I, It's weird how like whenever I'm reading this, because this is to a certain extent uh, a new corner. You know, granted, it's been 10 days, but all these um, uh, letters that we get for our mailbox all have very kind of, they ring back memories from me as well, which makes me keep talking about my past life. But, uh, you know, right now I'm very open, I'm very kind of loud, very uh, friendly. But when I was in primary school, actually, I wasn't like this. Uh, I, was a little, I was a little similar. Um, when I was super happy, you know, I'd run around with, uh, with this, uh, so much bounding energy, you know, enjoying all the company around me. But then I was actually kind of on the quiet side as a kid just because... I was really nervous around being people, and I wanted to be accepted, but at the same time, I didn't really have that kind of uh, charisma to really go up to people as I do now. And so, um, it's true. I feel like if I could go back to elementary school, I might be a little bit more social. But I think the one thing for me is, if I could go back to elementary school, I'd start dancing. Um, I'd start learning dance. I'd start learning singing while doing violin, of course, which would be uh, very, very actually hard to do. But it's uh, that would be one of the things I'd want to do because looking back, you know, school, it was a fun experience. But then if I could go back to the time when I was a little younger and a little more uh, adept at picking things up, I feel like learning dancing, at least dancing maybe. Because, you know, singing, I'm, I'm learning now, but dancing is kind of like, it's not quite my thing yet. But I'm working on it. Anyways, but, you know, Emelina, thanks for writing in. This brings back a lot of memories. And I hope you guys fill up our mailbox again for tomorrow's Time Traveler's Mailbox. And remember, guys, this is the corner for if you missed the date to congratulate someone or propose to a loved one for the future. Or if you have any plans for the future that you want to share. So you'll make sure it'll come true. All you need to do is send us the letter to Time Traveler's Mailbox. Remember, they could be in the past, but they can also be from the future as well. 
All right, so if you want to write in, all you need to do is come visit us at www.adidangradio.com slash music access and leave me a message on our message board with the title Time Traveler. All right, we'll come right back after a song for All About Music Quiz Season 2, Benji Style. And the song is Flashlight by Jesse J, requested by Anne Sophie of Malaysia. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. There's something you guys need to focus on during All About Music Quiz Season 2, and it's Benji's Hint. So I'm going to be giving you guys a really critical hint, but there's nothing really set on what kind of hint it'll be. So I'll be thinking about what hint to give you guys after checking today's answer. So it'll be a very impromptu hint. Very Benji style, right? Very off the top, very off the dome, very freestyle. Check it, check it. So make sure to look forward to my hint every day on All About Music Quiz Season 2. Alright, so listen carefully, and if you feel like you know the answer, write answer on your title and post it up on our message board. And as always, we have a special gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. And our double A music quiz present is Florence and the Machines' album, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, provided to us by Universal Music. So, what is today's music quiz answer? Ooh! I know this group. You know this group. Actually, every I think a lot of people know this group. They're, they're very new, though. They're still very... Uh, Shiny sheening. It's not shiny, by the way. Don't get this. Don't get wrong. It's not shiny. All right. So um, let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna do my Benji's hint right now. And uh, today's answer is uh one of my uh, favorite vocal groups, sort of. And I want to recommend their music to you guys. And they're actually pretty popular in Korea right now. So uh, I'm gonna give you guys kind of random hints. Today is random hint day. Okay, so, <clears throat> hint number one. This group has kind of had three kind of major singles coming out so far that they've promoted on the music shows. Um, hint number two. Um, they actually debuted about a month before our group did. So then, um, we saw them a lot at the uh, music programs. Number three, most idol groups have this kind of, you know, like, Huawei, P.I.G., this kind of stuff. But this group actually sings their greeting. And number four, um, their name is similar to Papa Poo. But it's not Papa Poo. <laughs> Alright, so, if you guys know today's answer, write answer on your title and shoot us a message with the correct answer. Now we'll listen to a song and come back with the second hint for Double A Music Quiz. The song is I Am A Good Boy by GD and Taeyang, requested by Aaron of the USA. We are back and we just heard I Am A Good Boy by GD and Taeyang. Oh, Big Bang released a song recently and it's pretty good. You should check it out as well. Anyways, moving on. So, for All About Music Quiz Season 2, Benji Style, I'll go over the uh, first hint briefly. And, uh, you know, they debuted about, I, I, if I'm right, about a month before us. Um, they are a very, very talented vocal group. And instead of doing the kind of the shouting intro that most idol groups do, they sing their uh, kind of group intro, you know. And uh, their name is not Papa Poo. That's like the biggest hint right there. It's not Papa Poo. It's... Hmm. Okay, so anyways, our second hint, I'm going to sing a short part of this group's songs. Are you ready? Okay, so, um, let's see. There, I'll do like a quick medley of this song. Why not? Because I like this group. So, Mama, Ma, Ma, Moo. Uh, Mr. MMO, not heckily get hatch in my ooh, 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 my love is for you, ooh, 
Yeah. 왜 자꾸 내 마음을 몰라주는 거니? Oh, wait, I messed up the rhythm. That was the first single. The second single is like, The piano man, 춤을 추는 너의 몸짓이. The piano man, 나는 뭐랄까. 나는 나는 너랑 나랑 둘만. 이렇게, 나 몰래. When chug it out, when chug it out, when chug it out. Hey, moon star. You guys, that was like a hand right there. I think he's gave the entire answer. So, you know what? That's the end of the hints for today. If you know today's answer, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. If you think you know the answer, come to the Music Access message board at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer. Our AA Music Quiz present is Florence and the Machines' album How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, provided to us by Universal Music. Alright, before we move on, let's listen to a song. The song is 너의 얘기를 들어줄게 by T. Yunmire, requested by Indonesia's Yunita. The song we just heard was 너의 얘기를 들어줄게 by T. Yunmire. And now it's time for message time. And our first message comes from Jenny from the USA saying, Hey Benji, I wasn't sure if you were going to read my message or not. So when I heard it, I was pretty surprised. Haha, <laughs> not going to lie. But yes, music access starts at 1am over here. And even though it's late, I don't mind at all. I'll stay up just to listen to you along with my friend Katie as well. In fact, I usually miss music access because I would still be at work and it makes me sad, but I get happy when I tune in. <gasps> Working at 1am? I mean, I mean, our schedule kind of ends at pretty late too, but so I, I, I can understand that whole workload, but I mean, you know, don't overwork yourself as well, you know, be healthy. Working late into the night can cause... Um, it can be good, because I mean, like, as a, as a musician, as an artist, um, that kind of, that late night, there's a late night emotion that, uh, you can associate with that kind of early in the morning kind of work, but, you know, be safe, and I know Music Access is, like, the world's best music program, and it's super addicting, like, soda, but, remember, don't forget to sleep as well, you know, get you enough Z's. All right, and we have Amber Nickerson from the U. S.A. saying, Hi, Pyonji. <laughs> That's your nickname now, Pyonji. <laughs> um, side note, this is just me saying it. Pyonji is very similar to Pyongi, <laughs> which is toilet in Korean. <laughs> anyway, so, how are you? I'm making a lyric video for your group's music video between night and music. When I'm finished, I'll tell you because I hope you can show your members and see if you like it. Thanks, Benji. Love you with lots of love from Amber in Michigan. P.S. I named the panda Sonmaji. Son because he's your son, lol. The M.A. is for Music Access and G is for Benji. Ooh, maybe you should name him Pyonji. Lol, no, JK, no. That's no. Have a nice day, thank you. Um, that's right, I forgot to mention, but we are still taking in requests for the name of our panda. Besides Pyonji. Come on, Amber. You can come up with a better name than that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, we'll find a name for him soon and finalize it because he's super adorable, super fuzzy. If I could send you guys all a piece of his fur, I would, but, you know, I can't and I don't actually really want to because it would hurt my son and I don't want to hurt my son. And, uh, yeah, let me know when you finish making your lyric video for our, uh, music video because I'm interested. Um, I see lyric videos for, you know, other artists and stuff and I think it's really, really cool how that stuff turns out. So, uh... Don't forget to let me know, and we will check it out. And this brings us to a close for message time. Let's check out a song before we come back with more. Kimberly of the USA wants to hear, I need you, girl. Oh, oops. Voice crack by Bang Tan Sonyeondan. We just heard I Need You by Bang Tan Sonyeondan, and it's time to wrap up our first hour. In the second hour, we'll be back with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. So to wrap things up for the first hour, I'll let you hear Gotta Be Somebody by Nickelback, requested by Japan's Kana, and be right back. Yeah, 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 what's up? You're listening to Music Access with me, Benji of B.I.G., and we are on the second hour of the Wednesday edition of Music Access.
In our second hour today, we'll come back with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. I'm so happy to do this corner with two girls. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone, and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash music access, and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeong. Now let's check out a song, and we'll come right back with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. The song is Non Nae Chip By For Men. Men and women, women and men, how are we different? How are we the same? Let's find out through... Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Hello, Jane and Tasha. What's up? Hey, it's an honor to be in this booth with you. What? Both. He's, he's always so happy. <laughs> no, it's, I'm always happy. I think I'll be so happy for our Wednesday corner, though. I'm always happy because... uh. It's mm-hmm. it's it's a corner with two girls, two very gorgeous women. Um, I don't know what to say when you like too. that. Just <laughs> say thank you. It's manners. Anyway, so <laughs> we met for our corner last week, and it's our second time now. Mm-hmm. And you know we're still getting adjusted to each other, but yep. I, you know I feel the energy's here. The vibe is pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. All right, so how was you guys? How was your week, Tasha? It was great. Practicing. Oh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. practicing. Mm-hmm. Practicing. How was your week? Um, it was all right ish. I mean, it's getting really hot. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. I, I don't know if I'm liking it, but I mean, it's better than winter for sure. So. I mean, do either of you have plans to, you know, tan, you know, get darker? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I am like a huge fan of like tanning my skin mm-hmm. and stuff. Because, you know, like the sun can be very dangerous to your skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about Tasha? I love to tan, but... We don't have time to go out to tan and stuff. Uh, oh, because you're always practice. stuck in mm-hmm. practicing and stuff. In my basement. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. So then, it is already June 10th. Mm-hmm. Which means, uh, in some places, it's time to make summer vacation plans. Right. Right? Mm. So, um, I know a lot of people are wondering if they should go on vacation or not. And, you know, in terms of me and my members, we're not going on vacation. <laughs> are you serious? No way. Aww. What about you guys? Do you guys, you, you probably have, have to practice, mm-hmm. right? Jane, where are you going? Let us know and take pictures. So but why? Why are you all assuming that I'm going somewhere this summer? I, I, I just feel like you've got this summerish vacation look on you. <laughs> well, um, I I already did go to Hong Kong before, Ooh. and I'm quite broke from that trip. So, <laughs> so I think I'll be saving up this summer. Mm. Mm, or you know, go or, on a train trip, get everybody yeah. from Music Access on a train. Go down to like Busan or something. That's a or good whatever. idea, yeah, guys. You for can like just a say? weekend trip. Oh, yeah. You know, ask, 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 yeah, we'll ask mm. our companies Ooh. for like a day. Be like, give me like a weekend off. Yeah, and they can't say anything because we're going with like the whole MA crew, right? Yeah, and we'll bring our producer and our writers with us. Wait, and so we'll broadcast they, from Hyundai. So is this okay? Uri uri yohinga do teo kachi fi dini. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so usually, you know, I see that there's um, girls going around, or not girls going around, there's girls who go on like short weekend trips, mm-hmm. but then guys don't usually do that a lot. You know, guys aren't like, oh my god, bro, let's go on a weekend trip, the two of us, it'll mm. be awesome. They don't do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's very just like, you know, what do you want to do? I don't know, what do you want to do? And it's become more like that, I think, as we get older as well. You know, when you're younger, we don't have that kind of um, uh, notion. But then as we get older, it becomes more like, oh, we don't really know what to do, but we just, you know, we could just chill on the couch at home. Is yeah. that the same for girls, though, as you get older? Um, sort of. Like, because we have to plan, you know? Uh-huh. And all the planning, right. organizing, like, all the bit by bits, it's just too much. Mm-hmm. So we end up lazy as well from time to time. Wait, actually, like, you plan, like, I'm, Jane's talking to her, like, yeah, that's right, that's right. So yeah. girls actually plan. You plan, out. but most of the time, like, all the... Egyon, like different opinions. opinions. Yeah, you know, it just clashes and then nothing just comes out. Yeah. So you don't it's go like, anywhere? It's like, it's difficult to plan a trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, 
in the end, girls and guys are actually the same because you don't go anywhere. But the difference is, guys are like with each other. And we're like, what do you want to do? I don't, I don't care. All right, let's not do anything. <laughs> and girls are like, oh my god, let's go this first. No, I want to go here first. No, but we have to eat here before we go here. And then in the end, it's like, you know, what? I don't want to go on a trip yeah. with you anymore. Is it like that? Yeah. Ah, that's complicated. He totally acted out like mm-hmm. just so correctly. I'm I'm going for the Academy Awards soon. <laughs> my Hollywood movie. So, um, when girls um are like planning trips or something, do mm-hmm. they plan for games or like? What are things that girls would plan around? Just like what to do. So we get there, we leave our bags like mm-hmm. in the hotel, and where right to go, mm-hmm. and what to do, and like also when we get there, what should we eat? It's so complicated. It, it, like in detail. Are yeah, mm-hmm. these are important. So let me ask a question. As a guy, just if I was traveling with you know my bros, my homies, uh-huh. and we go on a trip to a foreign country. Mm-hmm. Our first, second, and third meals, I feel like it wouldn't make that much of a difference if we went to the uh, Golden Arches fast food chain. You know, the, uh, the chicken yeah, right, nugget yeah. chain. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But for girls, does that matter? Is that important? Like, oh, we went to a foreign country. We have to eat their food. and Yeah, then go of sp- course. Really? I mean, that's the point of going. I mean, it's yeah. a waste not to eat the food there, right? So if you went to a foreign trip for like two days mm-hmm. and you stayed at the hotel or around the hotel the entire time, mm-hmm. would that be a waste of a trip or a, like a decent trip? Um, you have to see what did we do. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, it has to be like worth your time right, there. You right. don't want to like do the same thing. The things you can do mm-hmm. in your home country, you don't want to go abroad and do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You want to do something different. I think my dad must be kind of like a girl. Because uh, uh-huh. my dad, when I was younger, when we'd go on family trips, mm-hmm. he'd plan everything out. Like, he'd make Ooh. the Excel, like, wow. you know, the spreadsheets, you know what I'm talking about? And, like, plan out, so like, organized. so we'll wake up at this time, <gasps> wow. go there at this time, <laughs> then we'll eat lunch here, mm. and then, you know, we'll do all this stuff. This, this, this. And he planned it the entire day. Wow. And you know what happened? It's stressful. But does he ends up doing it all? No. Oh. It's just stressful. That's why he doesn't do it anymore. Oh. Gosh. <laughs> Anyway, so this is a brand new corner that we started last week. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus with the gorgeous Jane and Tasha, or MMWV for short. So can you guys tell us what this corner is about and how our listeners can participate? All right, so let me start. So men are from Mars, women are from Venus, or MMWV for short, is all about just having a comfortable conversation with friends about relationships, friendships, and the general tendencies for men and women. Sometimes when you're with your friends, don't you ask questions like, do men really do that? Or are women really like that? Right? (laughs) Alright, so that's exactly what this corner is all about. So we're going to be talking about those questions and um, you guys can send in your messages under the title MMWV. And um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And also from your experiences, if you felt like men and women were really different in a certain situation, for example, if you feel the way women and men enjoy sports is really different, let us know. All you need to do is write MMWV on your title and send us a message. Yeah, so this is going to be a really interesting corner. I, it's, it's always interesting. Last week was also pretty fun. But I feel like the more we delve into this, it's going to be totally oh, divided. Right. And then you guys will start fighting with me. It's like, I can't believe guys are like this. <laughs> I know, this is why I like the new corner. Like, I can always yeah. team up with Tasha and like go yeah. against Benji. It's <laughs> scary. <me. laughs> Alright, so usually, you know, we always listen to a song before we're gone. And mm-hmm. we also used to hear, you know, Jane's live performance every Tuesday. And sometimes Tasha would show off her crazy beatbox <laughs> skills on Monday. <laughs> but today's Wednesday... And although I'd like to hear your singing and beatboxing, that would be a little selfish of me. So, for today, we're going to listen to Jane's live performance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, Jane, what will you be singing for us today? Alright, this is a a very stress-releasing song, sung by Beyonce. (gasps) It's called, Best Thing I Never Had. Oh, yeah. Alright, um... I might not be good at this, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, I'll do my best. (laughs) Don't compare me and Beyonce. (laughs) goes around comes back around hey i said what goes around comes back around hey what goes around comes back around there was a time i thought that you did everything right no lie no wrong boy i must have been out of my mind So 
When I think of the times that I almost loved you You showed your ass and I, I saw the real you Thank God I blew it, thank God I dodged the bullet I'm so over you, so baby good looking now I wanted you bad, I'm so through with that Cause honestly you turn out to be the Turn out to be the And I'm gonna always be the Ooh, yeah I bet it sucks to be you right now Yeah! Wow! wow. So, we're Beyonce yet? Yep we're Beyonce, what? yeah? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're feeling like a homie, go brush your shoulders off. Ladies, sorry, that was a Jay Z song. You guys know who Jay Z is, right? Uh, no, of uh, course. You guys don't know who Jay Z is? He's the of rapper course. who's married to Beyonce. Oh, okay. I you <laughs> so, you're listening to Jane singing Best Thing uh, I Never Had. That was really good. Oh, uh, I don't think I was that good, but hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty good. good. <laughs> Alright, no. now that we took a song break with Jane, let's take an actual song break. <laughs> and listen to Lovesick by Shiny. Yeah, we just heard Lovesick by Shiny. And you're listening to Benji of B.I.G. on Music Access. And we're here with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars or Men Are From Venus or MMWV. So I hear Tasha prepared the first topic for today. Mm. Yes, and I'm sure you've heard this before. But, um, okay, the first topic is, even though they might not be good looking, men think that if a pretty girl, or any girl for that matters, looks at them, the girl has fallen them, has fallen for them 200%. Is this true, Benji? Yes! <laughs> really? It is true, why? it is true. I mean, I mean, why would you think like that? No, because here's the thing. It's, mm-hmm. I actually know why this is true, though. Because for a guy, mm-hmm. here's the thing. If we look... No, I'm not going to say we. Because I'm a gentleman. Okay. I don't think this. But a lot of guys. Oh. So, like, let's <laughs> say they have... Um, they see this girl and she's very pretty. She's mm-hmm. very attractive. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, um, let's say she's going to get in their head. So, he thinks about it. He thinks, like, oh, is she looking at me or not? Mm-hmm. To the point where, honestly, she could just have been, like, looking in this general direction. You mm-hmm. know, for example, it's like... Oh, there's a bird over there. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, the guy's so caught up in his, uh-huh. like, level of thinking that he thinks that if he's looking at, if she's looking at him, oh my god, she must like me. You know, if not, why would she look at me? Mm. Why would she look at a guy like me? You get it? Mm-hmm. You get it? Yes, I kind of, but... No, it's it's mm-hmm. an overhyped way of thinking, mm-hmm, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a very, you know, uh, clear-headed... It's mm-hmm. not... For example, if this attractive girl looked at me and winked... Oh, then that's oh, a sign. That's oh, yeah. a sign, obviously, mm-hmm. right? But then if she's kind of just looking in my general direction, then it's just, oh, you know, whatever. That's how I take it now. You yeah. sure? When I was younger, it was very like, this girl's me. Yo, this girl look at me. I bet she likes me. Uh, you know, <laughs> what? No, my brother's still like that. How old's your brother? He's uh, two years older than me. It's okay. It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> no. It differs. No, I mean, maybe he's very attractive. No. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, he's your brother. You wouldn't, you wouldn't <laughs> say that anyway. But what about girls, though? Because I'm sure that girls also have guys. But the thing is, girls are very sneaky. I know this for a fact. You, girl. <laughs> what? You, you don't, like, guys are very obvious when they look. Like, girls can tell, right, mm-hmm, if a guy's uh-huh. looking. But then when it comes to girls looking at guys, they do it like, oh, I'm, I'm powdering my face. Checking out the guy. No, I'm powdering my face. You know what I'm saying? Well... I don't know, like, from a girl's perspective, if a guy is looking at me, for, like, at first, I would be, like, is something, like, on my face? Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, is there something, like, smudged on my face? So I'm, like, very, like... Conscious. Conscious about that, yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you? If a guy looks at you, what's the first thing you think? Why is he looking at me? I mean, <laughs> I mean that's the first thing I think. But is it, like, why is he looking at me in terms of, is there something wrong with my mm. face? Or, like, just why is he looking at me? Um... I mean, depends on the situation. Mm. I mean, depends on how, how he looks at me. Like, mm. in, in what kind of way he looks at me. So, let's say, um, he kind of just, like, kind of glances at it, He's like, like, this kind of stuff. And then he just looks away. Oh. Then what would you think? Maybe he's interested in me. See, this is the same thing. This is I the mean, same thing. That... For example, let's say I'm just looking around, and then you happen to look this mm-hmm. way. Then just naturally, you know, eyes are going to meet, right? Mm-hmm. But it's not like... It's not that. It's just like you're looking around. It's like eyes meet, then you move along. But you think that. 
right? Because a little. You're aware of his presence,、mm-hmm. right? And he's aware of my presence too. But he might not be at all. Like that's、oh, really? the thing. It, I, my experience is there's、mm-hmm. times when girls will like look、mm-hmm. in my general direction, our eyes will meet.、Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, oh, does she like me? And that's what I thought when I was younger.、Mm-hmm. And then I realized she's just kind of looking, and then you just happen to meet、mm-hmm. eyes, you know? Well, especially um. Oh, I have a really good example actually. When you're in、okay. like an orchestra, right? And、mm-hmm. you're playing an instrument,、mm-hmm. then the person like on the opposite side of the、mm-hmm. section, if、mm-hmm. you play a string instrument, you just tend to like see each other a lot,、mm-hmm. just、right. because they're in your natural line of sight.、Mm-hmm. But you know, it could be a guy. Like in my case, if it's a guy, I'll still look at the guy a lot.、Mm-hmm. If it's a girl, I'll still look at the girl a lot. But it doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, I like you so much. It's、mm-hmm. just you're in my line of sight. So, for example, if I'm sitting like this, obviously, if I look this way or look this way. When I look straight at you, we're still gonna match eyes, right? Right. That's what it is. I think, like all in all, like guys, they're just very simple-minded. They're just very simple-minded.、Uh-huh. So, like, they don't really look too deep into like situations like that. That's Whereas true. Whereas、mm. girls, they're very like aware of every little right, bit. Right. Right.、Mm-hmm. So they're like, oh, why is he looking at me? And then just fall into your dream world. <laughs> A lot of imagination. <laughs> A、yeah. lot of imagination.、Mm-hmm. That is true. But like, I mean, what if we switch it the other way around? So like, if a guy looks at a, another guy, <laughs> no, if a guy looks at another guy,、uh-huh. like, I don't know, I don't know what guys would think. But if a, if another girl looks at me,、uh-huh. I think I get what you mean. Yeah, like we have, we sort of have like different thoughts、oh. into those situations. So if I if I was looking at an, if another girl was looking at me,、uh-huh. I would be like, why is she looking at me? Oh, like is she jealous of me? Oh, she must be jealous of me, like something like that.、Mm-hmm. But if a guy looks at another guy, like what do you think? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's, What's cracking? <laughs> We good? I mean, like, really, I that's the thing with girls. Yeah. So like guys don't really think too deep in. To like situations like this. I mean,、mm-hmm. with a guy. I mean, unless we're gonna like fight. Obviously, it's just like, oh yeah, what's up, bro? Right. But like, girls, like even just to stare、mm-hmm. is like a big thing. Really? Yeah. Like yeah. we really think into it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So I guess girls are very kind of very sensitive to the surrounding kind of atmosphere. Right.、Mm-hmm. Oh, I have another another topic too. Uh huh. The second one is, men also think I'm a lot better. Looking them most when they look into the mirror. Is that true? Yeah. He's nodding his head. I, yeah, I can so picture Benji doing that. I mean, no, but the, I I read somewhere that when you、uh, when guys look in the mirror,、mm-hmm. they pick the、uh, the image they see in the mirror、mm-hmm. is different than how other people perceive them. And this goes、oh. for everybody, though. Yeah. Because, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because when you're looking in the mirror, you just、image. look at how you see yourself and、mm-hmm. how you view yourself growing up. But then, how other people view is totally different. Right.、Oh. Which is why, when you go on camera and see yourself versus how you see yourself in the mirror, it's、mm-hmm. totally different.、Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like for guys, they might think like, "Oh, I'm a lot better looking than most," and <laughs> so on and so. But like for girls, it's completely different.、Mm-hmm. So like, if I look at myself in the mirror,、mm-hmm. I always、What? pick out the wrong, right? The the ugly part. Right. Really. Right. right. That and I go. Oh, I'm so fat, or、right. oh, I'm so chubby. <laughs> I look in the mirror. I'm like, dang, I look good today. <laughs> oh man, eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> oh my goodness. But they're not actually on fleek. I do realize that. But I just like to instill self confidence in myself. You know, that's my thing. I'm just like, you know, boost myself up no、mm. matter what. All right. So I have another question. Oh. And this is for both of you, actually.、Uh-huh. Actually,、okay. no, no, no. This is for Benji. Okay.、Oh. The first one's for Benji. So、yeah. if you are preparing to go on stage for a music show and you have to walk down the hall by yourself and you see five girl groups. Yep. All lined up in the hallway. Do you think you could walk through that line? Walk down confidently. I. I. I do. Really? Like this is not like I think I can. I do do it. No, because most guys are like, they're really like not confident in that way. I mean, no. But here's the thing. From my perspective, is it's not like these girls are gonna see me walking down the hall and be like, oh, that guy's so cute. I mean, they could.、Mm. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I would. The reason, the reason I'm at the stage for a music show is I'm there to perform, right? Right.、Mm-hmm. And then unless I know someone in these girl groups where I can actually say hi to them,、mm-hmm. it's essentially just like, oh. You know, sambe o senior. You know, anya zayo big mda hi we're big, and that's it. Because、mm. despite the fact that you know, even if, for example,、um, our listeners know that I I really like Ailey, for example. Oh, me too. Yeah, because she sings really well. You know, <laughs> all that stuff. But 
even if, like, let's say we're walking on the opposite side of the hall, mm -hmm. it's not going to be like, oh, my God, it's an alien. Oh my God. It's not. It's just like, oh, Sambinim is here, so mm -hmm. I should greet them. All right. You know? I'm very professional when it comes to that aspect. Oh, what about you, Tasha? Like, would you be able to walk down the hall? I think she would. Well, I think, you know, in music programs like that, it's, like, very business. Mm -hmm. Like, business-like. Right. So, it's like, inta, just mm -hmm. inta, and then that's all. I guess you guys you need to, like, we all need to, like, get our mental prepared for the stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, right. So, I guess you but won't But when we're outside thinking. of the music shows. So, Ooh. that's why the next question. <laughs> that's why the next question. Alright, so, do women like being invited to an event where there's a lot of men? And mm. they would be at the center of the attention, right? So, what do you think, Tasha? Well, I mean... I mean, I think a lot of girls like to be in the center of attention, right? So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're all the same. <laughs> but what about guys? I, like, if it was an event with mostly girls, mm. I had a hallelujah. <laughs> well, then would you be able to be all, like, confident? And of like, course. <laughs> because there's nothing, here's the thing. For me, just my personal opinion, and this goes for a lot of guys as well. If you overthink it, it's like, oh my god, there's so many girls. But then it's an event with girls, that's it. Right. It's just like, for example, if girls are A and guys are B. It's a lot of A's and not a lot of B's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's better to think that way. It's simpler. Because once you get caught up in, oh my god, there's a lot of girls. And oh my gosh, this girl's pretty. Oh my god, she looked at me. Oh my god, you know, she flipped her hair. She's touching mm -hmm. her hair when she's talking to me. Then that's that's just too much. Like, you can't handle that much. I don't know. Like, for me, it really depends. Like, because obviously if I'm like, at the, the if I have all the attention, I would obviously want to look Good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right, I have right. to like pick out each point, make sure I look good. So at sometimes I don't like to be like mm -hmm. at the center of the attention. Oh no, but that totally exists. Like if it's <laughs> an event with a lot of the opposite gender, of course you you know you're gonna dress up, you know right. look good. But once you get there, you can't you can't like show that you tried to look good. Right. It's like, right, oh, right. You know, exactly. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. You know you're just I'm naturally like right, this. Right. I was born this way. <laughs> you know. Ooh. All right. All right. So, wow, this topic can bring out a lot of uh, guy-girl differences. But in the end, we realize that guys are sensitive to girls and girls are sensitive to guys the same way. <laughs> it's all the same anyway. <laughs> all right. So now let's check out a song before we move on. The song is "Iral Komyon Kuroji Balji" by Pegayon featuring Young Hyun. We're back, and we just heard "Iral Komyon Kuroji Balji" by Pegayon featuring Young Hyun. And we're here with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, or MMWV. And it's time to introduce our messages from our listeners. Jane, could you read it, please? All right, so this is from Yuki Tang from Vietnam. Yeah. Mm. Men versus women. I really like this topic because I was always curious about the differences between us. Me too. Like in the shopping, I feel women always have a passion for shopping, but seems like men are not. Women can shop all day and check everything very carefully, like colors, prices, designs, and etc. We feel happy when shopping, but men are often impatient. My brother and my male friends couldn't wait for me in half an hour. They always said I was annoying and I just need to take what's near me. Is, is it the opinion of men when shopping? You... Oh, okay. I so, got right, so she's saying that women are... Very picky. Very detailed shoppers. Very detailed mm -hmm. shoppers, whereas men are very simple. <laughs> they don't really take that much time compared to women. <laughs> mm, let's see. For me, my experience, I lived in the States for 19 years, then I came to Korea. I've been here for about four years. There's a definite culture difference that exists as well. Because oh, in the yeah. States, guys are very just like, what's comfortable? What's, you know, what's on sale or something? And mm. They might not even check out what's on sale. Just if it's comfortable and it fits, you know, mm -hmm. why not? But then in Korea, once I came here, people are a lot more fashion conscious. That's a huge yeah. key thing. Yeah. How fashion, fashion conscious a guy is. So, for example, you know, uh, when I was in the States, I just wear whatever. But now that I'm here, I actually take almost longer than women when I shop sometimes. Because I spend a whole day, you know, I allocate time. Then it's not, oh, this shirt looks pretty, I should get it. But try it on. Okay, it's good, but what would go with this shirt? Oh. Okay, I got the shirt on, but the size is a little bit weird. If I rolled it up, what accessories would go with it? What do I need to show? Like, the, these are things I actually think about. He's like a girl. Oh. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay, let me ask. Tasha, when it comes to your shopping... I'm not like that at all. Are you detailed or are you simple? If you have to pick between the two. I think I'm really simple. Yeah, me too. Like, this is where I was sort of... Mm, I don't really agree right, right. with her when I was reading this. Because, like, it really depends on the person mm -hmm. as well. It doesn't really, like, simplify by gender, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, some guys yeah. 
they might really be into fashion. And, you know, like, they could be very detailed. Whereas women, like, we're just... For me, I pick out, like, the most... Well, not the most, but, like, the ones that are worth buying. Mm -hmm. That's one. And another one is I keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So I don't go for, like, anything... I don't dare myself with, mm -hmm. like, style. So then, yes or no question. <laughs> Jane, would you say you're fashion conscious? Um, not... Yes or no? No. Tasha, would you say you're fashion conscious? No. Maybe they're guys. Maybe they're the guys <laughs> and I'm the girl. No, Wait, but... Topic. I mean, because... No, but if I look at the way that you guys dress when you come here, I mean, obviously, you know, it is not... It's, it is radio. So, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I'm dressed very casually today and all that stuff. But then, I don't see... But... If you're not fashion conscious, does that mean that literally, you know, you go to the store and you just buy anything that's comfortable? I just think I, I just buy the things that comes to my eye first. That's it? Like my style of clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. But also, like, for girls, like, we don't go shopping, like, every day, you know? Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we have, like, a list of things oh, that right, we would right. want. A mm -hmm. list? Yeah. And then if we, like, come across it, we'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, that's the one I right, want. Right, right. So we'll get that. Whereas mm -hmm. guys, they don't, like, prepare or they don't, like, make a list of the mm -hmm. things they need. You mm -hmm, know? That's true. They don't pre-prepare the mm -hmm. list. So they're just like, walk across the shop. Oh, I like that shirt. Let's buy it. That's not true. Really? That's no, my true. guy friends are like that. Mm -hmm. How many? You have, must have like very like two guy <laughs> friends. Okay, no. The way I I see it is there's guys. There are guys that are like that. Mm. But when it comes to guys, especially okay, just we'll put it in perspective for the guys here in Korea. Mm -hmm. They're not like that. They're not like oh I go into a store oh here's a shirt that I like I should get it. It's not that. It's like yeah. they put it on, they check the fit. It. Mm -hmm. Like I like I do, you know, roll it up, mm -hmm. go with his pants, and then they ask, "Does this make my butt look big?" Oh my goodness, I've really? never seen that. Have though. you ever heard that from a no. guy? No. Really? I would instantly think there's like a girl would do it. A girl would Why? say something like that. Mm -hmm. Wait, I have a question for girls. Do girls actually like go to each other like, "Hey, does this make my butt look big?" Or like, "Hey, does this?" Yeah, I do. Like if mm -hmm. I if I wear something, uh -huh. especially when it's like a one piece dress, uh -huh. I would oh, be I think like, it, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I would be like, hey, does this?" Like, you know, make my waist look fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, Benji's, like, <laughs> Benji's like... Benji's uh, like, er, weirdo. No, no, I mean, it's natural. It's not, I get it. Yeah, you know? so, like, girls are like that. Like, they're very conscious in that term. But... Weird. Yeah. So then, in the end, the end result of what we're discussing <laughs> so far is everyone's fashion conscious. Everyone takes Depends. time. Mm -hmm. But the difference, the main difference that I didn't know is that girls make lists or they keep a check mark of what yeah. I need to get. Yeah. Because I don't, for example. And a lot of my friends don't. So what ends up happening is we go out to buy something mm -hmm. and we come back with nothing. We, we go out oh, to no. buy something and then we have like, we find 10 things that we want. Mm -hmm. Five things, of those 10, five are things that we can't buy or that we can't match with what we have. Mm -hmm. Three are things that we could have bought, but we wanted to think a little more. And two are things that we couldn't afford, but we really want to buy. Oh. Oh. That's very neat. <laughs> what about girls? I mean, like, we just... We don't really make, organize a, in mm -hmm. categories, do we? No, I just... You know, like, what we need. Yeah, just what we need. Generally, what oh, we need. Yeah. So and the like, list like is really long. Like a white shirt or... Like socks. Yeah. Oh. That's it. It's not like all detailed black stuff. socks with a leaf design. No, no. It's not no. that bad. I was just write like socks. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you need like an outfit, then if I need an outfit, like obviously I would uh, think about the colors. So you'd plan it out before mm -hmm. you get right. it. Search on the internet before. And for so. girls, like we plan shopping days, whereas guys don't. We don't. We just yeah. have, if we have a free day, we'll go. And oh. if we're stressed, especially if if we're angry or stressed. We go out, shop, and just release our... See, that's what... You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Girls that have this, like, impulse shopping, impulse ice cream eating, all that stuff, you know, keep it keep it together. Keep it in. <laughs> Dude, no, it really does help. I got it. I should try it the next time. You know, <laughs> if I'm stressed, I should go shopping and be like, hey, my... Dude, does this make my, like... Does this make my thighs look big? Um, all right, everyone's looking at me just like, you're so uh, weird. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. So it is time for us to wrap things up already. And it's our second week on this corner. Mm. And uh, I think it was pretty good. Yep, it is. You know? Jane's just like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Benji's so weird. <laughs> All right, so, but, okay, next week we will have more fun things to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, this has a lot of uh, potential, I feel like. Mm. You know, moving on. So, uh, <laughs> send in Tasha and Jane out. We'll listen to a song. The song is Summer by Calvin Harris. And I will see you guys next week. See Bye. Ya. Bye.
All right, we just heard Summer by Calvin Harris, and it's time to reveal the answer for our AA Music Quiz from the first hour, and it is... Mamamoo! A lot of people sent us the right answer, but we picked just one, so go ahead and check for your name on our message board. If you see your name up there, send us a message with your name, address, phone number, the date you were chosen, and email address on our message board under the title, Winner. Our present is Florence and the Machines' album, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, provided to us by Universal Music. And now let's check out two songs requested by our listeners now. The first song is Climax by New East, requested by Tao Fan of Vietnam, followed by Who Are You by Boa featuring Gecko, requested by the USA's Lorena. And it's time to say goodbye. Our last song for today is Secrets by One Republic. This was Benji of B.I.G. and I'll be back.